endorsed Unam the Kanu's two demands until the election is over. Northern elders blow out. With barely three days to go, the Anambra election billed to hold on the 6th of November is gradually getting closer and the different stakeholders from the region have given their opinions on how the federal government can best manage the very volatile situation in the region. For some time, the outlawed Eastern Security Network have laid siege to the region, causing mayhem and attacking both the residents and the government forces as they try to bring the region to its knees. The federal government, in a bid to enforce law and order, had sent in the military under the exercise labeled Operation Go Down, which is currently engaging the government in the region. A group of elders from the southeast, under the auspices of Igbo Elders Consultative Forum, led by former Anambra Governor Chief Chukwemeka Ezeife, has, however, pleaded with the federal government to take some action which they believe will bring peace to the region and also allow the residents come out to vote on election day. Namde Kano has demanded for just two things bef before the election can take place. Namde Kano have said that IPOC has nothing to do with the election, but only if the Southeast governors and President Mubari can take the soldiers back to where they are coming from because Southeast cannot contain them and the military. If the military still remain in the Southeast, then you leave the IPOP and Eastern Security Network with no choice than to strike. Hmm. My dear viewers, you see, this is what we are talking about the truth is bitter see for the fact that Imam Dekano is in detention doesn't mean that he do, he's not seeing all that is happening in the southeast he's seen everything he's seen everything the, whole, uh, the, the way the whole thing are going he's seeing them and that is why he was, he, he was able to speak from detention so that he will, they will know that he knows what is happening how do you expect the, the, the lovers of I problem to be that way to be settled when the military are still in the southeast ravaging the community? You understand? A lot of things uh, uh, coupled to uh, added, added to the reason why these people they have, have refused, uh, the, the I pop lovers, lovers of I pop have refused to back off. A lot, a lot of things are added. A lot of things are attached. So not until the federal government can call to the to the to, to the call of these people and the, the reason for, for the agitation before peace will reign. No, we cannot even try to have given them the expo. So giving them the expo. Yeah, it's an expo. To me, I don't know of you, but that's in reality. It's an expo he has given them. You see that? So it is not left to them. It's not left to them. The Oanese in the Igbo, early this morning, um, I think the, one of the broadcasts I made this morning, the Oanese in the Igbo were in a closed door meeting, uh, having a closed door negotiation on behalf of IPOP. Who told them to do that? Let them finish the negotiation. And let's see if IPOP will listen to them. Did IPOP give them a permission to go and negotiate on their behalf? How, for how long have they been speaking on behalf of IPOP? How many times has IPOP called them? Called them and pleaded to them. Pleaded to them for help. Then when, when, when the Southeast was, was a little bit calm, then, then the 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 men the, the are the ones terrorizing and killing innocent Igbos. The Anam Kanu then from all the way from UK raising alarm, calling them, pleading to them, asking them to do something about it. They they, they, they kept they kept quiet. They they they, they, they refused to do anything. 
Not only now the canoe came up with the Eastern Security Network, then they now knew that, oh, the canoe is a, is a Boko man. Oh, the canoe has, has, has started again. No, he won't start. You, you, you should allow him to fold his hands and watch the, uh, this Boko people to kill his own people. No, he won't. He won't start. That is it. That's the problem. That's the problem with our, with our Southeast leaders. No wonder, you know, Father Emmanuel Chukuma said it, that the problem of the Southeast is the Southeast leaders, the, the Southeast, uh, uh, the evil leaders, they are the problem of the Southeast. They are the architect of the prop of, 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 of the problem of the, in, in the Southeast. Not until they see Nam the Kano as a leader and give him a maximum support before things we start going well. If these people have backed in the canoe from the beginning, I swear, Bari wouldn't have taken uh, uh, wouldn't have taken over the Southeast. Bari is in charge of Southeast now. Don't you know? He's in charge of the Southeast. He's the one controlling the Southeast. Look at the whole Southeast. The whole Southeast is full of military, uh, not, some mil not some men in military uniform. They are the ones in charge. Check them now. All the top commanders. ASP Major General, they are in the Southeast. Bwari made them the top, 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 top men in the Southeast. That is why you see that any little thing that happens or any little attack you see that happens in the Southeast, they have released the military men. They have released it. So, what are we talking about? Who are we fooling? They can't continue fooling us now because we are not fools. We are not fools. We know what we are doing. We know our onions. You understand? We know our onions. So, my dear listeners in the house, I think we've had enough. I think we've tolerated enough. I think we've waited enough. And we can't wait anymore. You understand? So, let me hear you from the outside there to know what you have to say. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.